Hey guys, Matt McQuinn here. Welcome to the latest version of Coldlytics where I'm going to show you how you can build your next list. So we're inside your dashboard here. We're going to click on this button in the top right corner, new task, and we'll start with the small business strategy. Um, this is how most users are going to use the platform. So this is what we'll focus on in this example. When we click on that button, it opens up a preview of Google Maps. So we start by defining the region that you want to focus on. You can go as wide as a country, so you could enter United States and set that as your parameter, or you could do something a little bit more specific and say we're looking at Chicago, and we'll select Chicago, and then you can set your radius as well within the city. You could also select a state if you wanted as well. If this looks good, we'll click Add, and then let's say you wanted to also focus on nearby Naperville, and we'll add that as well, and we'll shrink down the radius because we just want that little area there, so we'll say maybe 13 kilometers. Then we'll come down to the next step and we'll go to the industry. Let's set this to personal injury lawyers. So we'll search personal injury lawyer in the search term and you can see different law practices pop up. So we'll click the add button here. And what this is doing is this is going to scrape Google Maps based on um, these specific industries that you provide. In this case, we'll just focus on one. We'll click the next button and tell the system that we are looking for owners and founders and perhaps directors and executives if we can't find an owner or founder. So we have a decision maker at those businesses. Now, if there's a specific job title that you want as well, um, you could come in here and enter that. So perhaps you're looking specifically for a CFO, you could enter that here. We'll click the next button and we could immediately deliver this task. We could click on deliver and come over here and enter any of the data points that you want. Um, we have a whole wealth of data points that you guys can look at. Um, and once you've set these here, you'll come in and add task notes as needed and you'll click on finish. Um, then all that you would have to do next is give this a quick name down here, set how many credits you're looking to use or how many leads you're going to source and launch the task. If you wanted to make this a little bit more complicated and refine your search a little bit better, let's say you're looking specifically for personal injury lawyers and you don't want, um, you don't want, let's say family lawyers. Let's go in here and select one of our most popular filters, website keywords. We're going to check the website of each of those law practices for the term family law. And we'll say when it does not appear, then it's okay for it to be a lead on our list. And then let's say for sure that, you know, we want this to also include, uh, we want to make sure it mentions personal injury. Then we'll put appears. Um, and we could say also maybe it mentioned accidents. We'll put or, so if, if it mentions personal injury or accidents, then we know it's a relevant website. We'll put appears and click next. So now we have an extremely refined list that we're gonna start building. And then what happens once we launch this list is we pass all this over to our human research team and they go out and they're experts in finding the contact information for these people. So um, we can get very granular in this tutorial and I'll take the time now to say that you can watch this part of the tutorial and know how to use Coldlytics from just this little snippet, or you can stay and watch this part where I'm gonna get even more granular into how some of the more advanced features work that you might actually benefit from as well. So stick around if you're interested. Let's see what else we can do for filters. Let's come down here into firmographics. We can filter by revenue for the company size so we can limit the company size. We can focus on how many employees are in that specific company. Um, we can set date established. I did this with a client today. You know, they specifically wanted to make sure that businesses were no older than five years. So we went back to 2018 and set the current year to 2023 and hit next. And then they were filtering for companies that were also relatively new. Um, we can also add other filters in here under firmographics. We have the date established that we just looked at. Then we can filter by how many current Google reviews they have. So the maximum or minimum number of reviews and what those review scores range at from zero to five, you can enter all of that here and filter your list. Remember, this is a filter, so it's going to affect what leads we put on your list. They have to be within the criteria you've requested. Um, so we come down a little bit further. We can include or exclude national franchises or national brands. Um, and we can also focus on if they have specific ad platforms that they are running ads with. So advertises on Facebook, we'll say yes. Or we want this company if they're running Google ads, yes. 
Um, or if they're running LinkedIn ads, we're interested in getting those leads on our list. Um, or you could put the opposite. You could say, no, I don't want them to be advertising on any platform right now. We want them to be brand new to this. Then great, you would set those to mouth and hit the next button. If we jump back into the filters again, we'll then move over to technographics. Here we have technologies where we can filter based on technologies we find on their website. Um, so the starting list that we provided is detecting any e-commerce website at all, um, or you can specify Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento. Um, we can also detect if the website's been built on WordPress and if they've got Google Analytics installed. So you would just select the technology you want to feature and detect it or not detect it on the website. And then we'll hit next and submit that criteria. Moving quickly on to the next filter, um, we have page speed. So we can tell you how quickly their website loaded, um, which is a great insight for you if you're selling SEO services. And then we have the ad networks. Um, this is interesting um, for many of you as well. You can find out if they have AdSense installed um, or any of these other popular monetization platforms already on their website. We can filter it based on those as well. If we move out of technographics, and we move now into the advanced filters. We have two left. We already covered website keywords, so we'll next move to the suppression list. You can provide a list to us of either company URLs, sorry, company website URLs, um, or email addresses, and we will suppress against those. So what that means is that we will look and make sure that we're not providing you any of the leads that you already have. You share them with us on a Google Sheet, put the link here, and then submit that and we would then deduplicate against that list, making sure you're not paying for any duplicate leads. Um, we'll take a second now to quickly look at some of the advanced, um, or not so much advanced, but some of the available data points that we didn't cover at the very start of this video. Um, we can get a link to the LinkedIn profile of the individual if possible. Uh, we can try and find a phone number for the company. We can include what their Google review count and score is. Uh, a link to their Google business profile, and if they've claimed that Google business profile. We can also look for a mobile number. So we call that a direct dial. It does use one extra credit per lead, and we only take the credit out of your account if we find a specific lead with a phone number. We typically find about 20% of direct dials in comparison to direct emails that we find. We can also look for company social media links. Uh, we can check for pixel detection. So do they have a pixel installed on their website? Yes or no. We can tell you that, which is a good signal if you're trying to figure out if somebody's um, currently running ads or not. That's a good way to tell. Um, and we can also tell you if they have Google Analytics installed on their website. Uh, do they have an e-commerce function? Do they? And so you're starting to see these are tied into some of the features that you wanted to filter by. If you want to see that data on the output, just select the corresponding data points that we've provided here. And last but not least is page speed. Um, you can add and subtract whichever of these data points you're looking for. By default, every list is going to have at minimum the contacts first and last name, the company name, their job title, email address, and a link to the company website. And it very likely will have the address as well, but it's not required. You can remove that if you want. Then we'll click that blue next button. And again, you would put in your task notes here and launch the task. So what that task then looks like here is it shows the task name. Here's one that I launched 18 minutes ago. We'll open this up. It's due 24 hours later. 100 contacts requested, and you'll see the history of any task um, notes that we make or changes that we make as we build your list will appear here under the activity section on the right hand side. So let's quickly take a look now at the last two targeting options. We do provide the enterprise level and the custom level of targeting. Underneath enterprise, you might have a broader search area opposed to looking for a small local business like a plumber in Fredericton. You could be looking for a software company like Salesforce in all of the United States. So you would type in the region that you want the lead to be from in here, just like we did on the other one. And then we hit the next button and we'll set the industry down here. This isn't going to show you a preview of the companies because we're gonna do a different type of search. This isn't pulling from Google Maps and Google business listings in quite the same way. So you could be as you know general as software, or you could come in here and say CRM software, um, or sales enablement, you know whatever it might be, um, or a different type of, of enterprise level company that you're looking for. Then we'll click the next button and we'll set the seniority level of whatever you're looking for. Um, usually it's an owner or founder, or it could be director or executive, or if there's specific job titles, like a CMO, you can enter that down here. 
And then just as we did before, you get into the filtering where you can come in and mention specific website keywords that you want to show up or exclude on those websites um, and all these different filters that we've just covered as well. Um, or you can just move right ahead and you can deliver this task as it is based on this criteria. Now, last but not least, let's go back out and look at the custom targeting option. Underneath here, we have the enrichment from Google Sheets. If you would like to provide us with a list of uh, email, or not email addresses, if you're looking for email addresses, you may want us to enrich some data that you already have. So you can provide us a Google Sheet that contains at least a link to the company website and the company name. Um, if we have those two pieces of information, we can go out and find much more data for these specific leads for you. And we charge one credit per enriched lead. So you can provide data that you've already started curating and have us enrich it here. Um, next is LinkedIn searches. Let's say you had ran a search on LinkedIn that you wanted us to provide contact information based on. This could be from Sales Navigator or from a general search on LinkedIn. All that you would do is copy the link to that search result page and paste it in here. Then you can get into the delivery section and you can tell us exactly kind of what the contact information is that you're looking for down here in the data points section. Um, we also provide an input for other online directories, basically any paginated source on the internet we can use to, to begin our research project to build your list from. So if you have a different source that you'd like us to use, perhaps it's a, an industry directory or it's a, a list of vendors for a specific event that you're attending, you can paste that page here inside this input field and give it to us to go out and find those leads for you. We also have a couple of suggestions down here at the bottom that you can try as well. So plenty of options for you to use to try and get lists um, this way from Coldlytics. My favorite is, of course, the first option. But ultimately, guys, if you have any questions on any of this, please don't hesitate to use the chat bubble in the bottom corner of the website. Happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.